kid in a candy store. And no, I'm not talking about the plot of American Ballet Theater's whipped cream. I'm frankly talking about the good fortune I feel that Mark Ryden agreed to chat with me for a few minutes, amongst the controlled confectionery chaos of preparing for the world premiere of a ballet that features his work in both scenic design and costumes. Ah, I was thrilled. I mean, Alexi had, um, I guess he came across a book of my art in Japan, um, I guess quite a while ago, and he had been trying to think of a project possibly to involve me with, and then he decided he wanted to bring back this old ballet. I don't know if you know the story of the original ballet, and um, we hooked up a year and a half or so ago, and he described the project to me. It sounded amazing. <laughs> Whipped Cream, a two-act ballet based on Schlagobers, originally performed in Vienna in 1924 with music by Richard Strauss. The ballet follows the story of a young boy who dives too deep into the wonders of a pastry shop with delirious and sometimes disturbing results. A perfect match to Ryden's artistic sensibilities. You know, Alexei has talked about that being his interest in, in using me and my art. Is there, on the surface, there's this kind of sweetness, but there's something um, underneath that that has a kind of darker or um, more subconscious stuff that kind of bubbles up. But translating personal art to professional sets and costumes meant sharing his vision with others. A real hands-on artist, Mark learned to trust the team to turn sketch and drawings into literal living interpretations, characters able to walk and leap and fill a stage with dreamlike wonder. I'd like to have just built everything myself. <laughs> But there's been a lot of amazing people doing great work, so it's been going really well. And the wow factor of how to practically create for the dancers jaw-dropping costumes that include the lovely, the frothy, the whimsical, and the downright giant. Those giant heads are amazing. They're, they're made out of a carbon fiber. I don't know if you got a chance to look at one close up, but they're just featherweight. There's amazing material pick them up and it kind of deceives your mind how how light they are for their size <laughs> but they're really easy for them to to move around in. I mean it's, it's just shocking how much motion they have I mean you could see them performing on stage with it pretty miraculous First. and also their their vision too because they have to see out of them so there's little pinholes just kind of in the shadow areas and, and the vision is actually Pretty, pretty good. The tough part behind him, you can feel Mark enjoys this original experience. Watching him watch the progress, walking around chatting, he seems to be truly involved in this world filled with movement. Of course, ever since this started, I've become quite a fan. <laughs> I um, got to see Firebird um, last year in New York um, and saw it from both on the perspective of the audience, but then also I got to see it from off in the wings, the entire um, production from the side, and it was one of the most inspirational things I've ever seen. It was just amazing, just having that proximity to the dancers um, just gave a real appreciation of what they do out here on stage, the, the, the superhuman effort they put into it is shown, because they They'll float around here magically, it seems like it's so effortless, but then they'll go off stage and just kind of collapse in exhaustion. You can really appreciate what they're putting into it, so it was really amazing. <laughs>